good looking, nice guy, and funny. <laughs> oh yeah, right? <laughs> so maybe six. He has six threats. Um, first of all, I want to say congrats. Thank you. On everything. Uh, I right. remember you when you were doing Get Ready. Yes. The velour tracksuit. Velour tracksuit. The SD chain, uh, which chain. I still have somewhere in a drawer. To the Reeboks. The Reeboks. Yeah. Do you remember that? Do you remember that whole case? I, you know what? I try not to relive that time of my life. No. I mean, that I'm was, proud. I'm yeah, proud of every moment. Um, you know, in 2003, it was about the velour tracksuits with the headband right and the Reeboks. That's what everybody was doing. I was the velour tracksuit guy. Yeah. You know, and then when my next record came out, I was the guy with the sidewalk, with mm -hmm. the haircut, with the weird small right, thing, you know? Um, I, you know, I travel around the world touring, and when I had the sidewalk uh, uh, haircut, I would see tons of people with the haircut out, you know? And there's actually a video on YouTube of a guy, like, how to do the sidewalk, you know, by himself doing it, which is crazy, so. What's up? Yeah. And uh, you're Capricorn. I'm a Capricorn, yes. Capricorns are known for being very ambitious, mm -hmm. very um, stubborn. Yeah. And uh, they never stop. Yeah. So, but in terms of your career, mm -hmm. is there like an end goal for you? Do you feel like once you get here, you can uh, let it all go, or that's a great question? I think you know. I don't think it always changes. I think my, my main thing. I don't think there's a there's an end goal. You know, the the one thing for me, and what I want people to take at the end of you know, there might be a day where I might say, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm done. I'm done with music. You know. The one thing I want people to be able, you know, people that have spent time with me and been able to work with me, the one thing I want them to be able to say is like, you know what, that's Sean Desmond, you know, regardless of the music, you know, let's put aside the music and whatever else he does, but he was a genuinely nice person. You know, I live by treat people the way you want to be treated. You know, I think it's very, very important. And I've never let any of this, you know, get to my head, you know, um, and it's important to stay grounded. It's the people around you that keep you grounded. Obviously, my upbringing, you know, I'm a Portuguese background, European, so at any time, if I were ever to get out of hand, my parents would, you know, <laughs> keep it a spanking on the bum, yeah. so, yeah. Well, Capricorns are also known for being very loyal. Mm -hmm. and, oh, my um, God. Very yeah. loyal, very family-oriented, yeah. and stuff like that, and um, I don't want to know about that. I want to know about... For loyalty and you being mm -hmm. in relationships mm -hmm. and stuff like that, yeah. how do you, you've been in a relationship for a really long time. Yeah, I've been in relationships, I've been in and out of relationships. You know, the one thing for me is staying, you know, staying loyal is important. Not just in business, especially for me in business, I'm a very loyal person. Yeah. But let's put that aside, let's talk about relationships. <laughs> you know, being loyal in a relationship is important. One, because I think the, per the person you end up with, especially if that person, for me at least, is not in the industry and doesn't know kind of how it works, mm -hmm. it's important to really explain to them how it is you know listen this is what it is there's gonna be there's gonna be times where girls are gonna be throwing themselves at me but you know you I have to not all the time. Not all the time. <laughs> you have to trust me you yeah. know uh you have to trust that you're the one and i'm coming home to you and that's what it is you know what i mean okay, so yeah. give us some give us some advice relationship advice like wow. what is the number one thing that you should always do in a relationship number one thing uh i mean I think honesty is, is, is important, you know, if there's something on your mind, you know, let her know or let him know, whatever the, the situation may be. Because the more you hide stuff, the more you ball it in, the worse it gets when it obviously when it does come out and it all spills out and you're like, I didn't know this, I didn't know this, why didn't you tell me this six months ago, you yeah. know what I mean? So I think honesty is, uh, is important and communication, you know. You being so like into dance mm -hmm. and you're shooting a movie yeah. and uh, music. There's been so much things going on with uh, American Idol, mm -hmm. The Voice, all those things like yep. that. If you got to choose mm -hmm. three judges to mm -hmm. judge American Idol, yeah. who would you be? Oh man, if I got to choose three judges to judge American Idol. Oh. If I did my own show, I think the judges for me, I love Simon. Simon Cowell was awesome. I love L.A. Reid. These are two, I don't think people realize, these are two men who have molded and started the careers of Probably people that you don't even know, like you would think, oh my god, no, L.A. Reid has done everything from Usher to Mariah Carey, Whitney Houston, like, it's incredible. If you look at, like, please, like, look at these people's backgrounds. If I had to pick a third judge, oh man. Um, you, not you. Me, you know, I think I'd be good, you know, I'd be, I'd be a good judge, I'm honest, you know what I mean? I'm, you know, I've, I've, been, I've been doing this a long time and I've, yeah, I've been able to be successful at, at doing this, you know what I mean? That's tough, man. That's a third judge. Wow. Um, should be a girl. You can't have two. Can pick a girl. Sorry. Okay, pick a girl. Um, maybe somebody like Madonna. Madonna. You know, because I feel like she's been around also for so long and done, and, and obviously successful. Yeah. You know, let's you know, let's not kid ourselves. It's the better. I think so, man. I mean, it's great. Like, obviously, you have up the up and newcomers, which is great. Mm -hmm. But I think these people that have been around it so long and 
still having success till this day says something. Okay, well, thank you so much for hanging out. Oh, my us. pleasure. And um, if our viewers want to find uh, more information about yes. you or keep in touch with yes. you, how can they do that? SeanDesmond.com if you want to find out the info, what's going on tour wise, uh, The Real SD on Twitter, um, and also Sean Desmond official fan page on Facebook. I'm constantly checking, trying to reply to all the messages and stuff. But uh, yeah, that's where you can find all the good stuff, and uh, we'll see you soon. So. Okay, perfect. And last but not least, we do this one thing here called on Christian Confidential mm -hmm. called Lip Sync Karaoke. Okay. We just need to know Sean Desmond. <laughs> Are you up for the challenge? Absolutely. Absolutely.